What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we got ourselves a Lycanroc Sand Rush team, and guys, I'm hyped for this one. We got Sand Rush, which is double your speed in Sandstorm, but without extra drill. So this is going to be cool. Something new. You guys know I always love the extra drill, so it's going to be awesome to try out Lycanroc with a Sand Stream team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support. Rocking out on this team, we got Corviknight with those Psychic Seeds. Normal move set for him we got brave bird iron head body press and roost very nice move set i really do like it we got lycan rock over here oh showing off lycan rock this thing is an absolute beast pretty fast mon can hit like a truck especially with that life orb on it as sucker punch protect close combat for coverage and to boost his uh physical attack in dynamax form and rock slide for stab and big old max rock ball for when we dynamax it we got our sand stream setter with that weakness policy t-tar everyone knows this thing is an absolute monster when it gets that weakness policy triggered with high horsepower protect Rock Slide and Lash Out. Hatterene and Indeedy go together very, very well for the Trick Room setup. And the Indeedy sets a Psychic Surge, which works well with the Alkazam. And this Corv Knight, because the Corv Knight has a Psychic Seeds. And all three of those Psychic Pokemon, the Alkazam, the Indeedy, and the Hatterene, have Expanding Force, which has been a new move just taken over the meta. It dominates in the Psychic Surge. But Hatterene's over here. Can set the Trick Room with Mystical Fire, Dazzling Gleam, Expanding Force, like I said. But Beery Berry and Magic Bounce. We got the Psychic Surge Indeedy with those Safety Goggles, so it takes no damage from like weather conditions with expanding forest follow me helping hand protect and alakazam over here which everyone knows alakazam's a force to be reckoned with expanding force dazzling gleam protect and nasty pot if you could set up nasty pot and have him go out with expanding forces dude it's game over a plus two nasty pot expanding force stab inside the psychic terrain that's just going to be a monster of a hit so hopefully we can do that i don't know that's going to be tough to pull off but if you guys want to use this team for yourself, my the code is at the bottom of the screen. Shout out to my boy Dante for sending this team over on my Jeans Instagram page. Link it to that will be in the description below if you guys want to send me teams or DM me or just uh, follow me over there and come hang out, like up the videos, not the videos, all the pictures and all that good stuff, and show some support over there. But without further ado, let's hop on to that rank ladder with this Lycan Rock Sand Rush team. First battle coming out here. Um, I'm kind of scared for this one because the grassy terrain and that Rillaboom can trash on my Sand Rush Pokemon. So we're going to have to play this one a little bit differently. I kind of want to play that uh, the Psychic Surge right off the bat. So we cannot go for a Fake Out or anything. I think that's a smart play. So I'm definitely going to go in DD. I kind of want to go Alkazam as well because I can get off a nice little uh, Psychic Surge. Or not Psychic Surge. Expanding Force right off the bat if I really want to. Or I could set the Trick Room. This team doesn't seem too, too fast besides just that Cinderay. So I don't think Trick Room is going to be an option here. I kind of might just want to go Corviknight here. Corviknight could be pretty good, but that Psychic Speed Seeds give us that bulkiness. Um, hmm. Definitely want to go Alkazam. I think I, th I think I lead Psy Spam here. I think Psy Spam is a, it's a nice little start. So we're going to go with the Expanding Force Squad. And then I think I bring uh, the Sand Rush Pokemon. Get them rolling up in here. I just got to watch out for that. Um, Actually, let's go. Let's withdraw you. Let's withdraw you and go. Um, hmm. Because if he leads Rillaboom, I would want Indeedee in second. Let me check out Indeedee's speed first. Unless it's really, really slow. 105 speed. Mm, I can't risk it. I don't know how fast that roll boom is going to be. I'm going to go. Let me. Oh, my God. Let's uh, withdraw all these guys. See if I can get this whole team in here. 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 And then I'm just going to bring Lycan Rock and hit done. We're not even going to bring T-Tar out here. I can set the Sand Rush if I want to by myself with just a Max Rock Bowl. So we're going to go with that. We're going to go with that. We're going to bring Indeedee in the back end. So we're going to go out to Sam Corviknight and swap the Corviknight in. And then get the Surge going. This is just in case he wants to lead real boom, And I can take out the Grassy Surge right then and there. And roll off from there. But if you guys want to catch more content from me, you guys already know the deal. Head in that link in the description below. G25 on Twitch. We stream three to four days every single week. So come hang out. Have some fun. But he does go here. He goes into these two. He's probably going to try to fake out. So, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm definitely swapping the Corvo. And going into Do I swap the Corvo? Or do I keep the Corvo? We do have mirror armor. So that's actually pretty nice. Pop that back onto him. I don't want to get faked out, so I might actually just swap out the Alkazam here. Let me see something real quick. If I go Expanding Force, it has no effect over there. So, mm, I could try to set up a Nasty Plot. But he's definitely faking me out because I do have Sash. So, I am actually just going to uh, set up a Nasty Plot and go into Indeedee. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to fight here. I'm going to set up a Nasty Plot. And I am going to go into Indeedee. Where's my Indeedee? This thing's got to be going for a fake out onto my... Uh, He's got to be going into a fake out onto my uh, Alkazam slot, right? I'm going to drop Corviknight back here. Let's see drops out Comfy for uh, Rillaboom, which I don't think he's going to happen. But we set this surge, so no fake out's going to come out here. I think he m might want it to go for the fake out. Let's see what he does. I think he's going to swap Rillaboom next turn, though. Battlefield got weird. Fake out comes out. 
doesn't, or Alkazam's protect it. So beautiful. We get up this nasty spot. Hopefully this Confi doesn't touch me. And I can keep my Sash, because then I'm going to just Dynamax out and roll from there. Well, Confi sets a Trick Room. Okay, Confi. Okay, Confi. I see you. I see you, Confi. Setting that Trick Room. That's cool with me. Let me check out the speeds of my Mons. Let me check out speeds. I think Corviknight wouldn't be too bad in the Trick Room. Let's see. Corviknight's 87. Lycan Rock, what are you saying at? Lycan Rock's fast. Lycan Rock is fast. So I think Alkaz Alkazam's super fast too. But with plus two, I kind of want to just Dynamax him, you know? 13 off. We have the Sash as well. Hmm. Could just go straight for an Expanding Force. Or I'm kinda, I kind of just want to go for a Max Starfall. Actually, no. I don't want to change up that terrain. But I think I'm just going to drop an Expanding Force. Nah, I think I'll Gleam it. I think I'll Gleam it plus two. And I'll drop an expanding force over on this side. Exactly what I think we're gonna do. Let's see, Comfy's gonna protect. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. So we'll get off a dazzling gleam just on that Incineroar. Incineroar is going to snarl. Take off our focus ash. Okay. Okay, do a little bit of damage, and now we're only plus one. Now we're only plus one. How much can this dazzling gleam do? Expanding force comes out. Block does nothing because it doesn't affect the Incineroar. And I do not want to go for another uh, what's it called? I do not want to go for a follow me here because if he just snarls, there's really no point. Plus one, Dazzling Gleam. Doing a little bit of damage on Incineroar. I think we just wait out this Trick Room and then potentially Dynamax my boy. Then I'll just go here. I'm already minus one. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I mean, he's minus one as well, but I'm just going to go for an Expanded Force. Protect Alkazam. I think I'm going to just play this Trick Room one out. Let's just wait this Trick Room turns out. I'm going to go for a Floral Healing. A floral healing over on Incineroar is a beautiful move. I believe he's, he has like an ability that gives his healing like so much more. I'm not too sure about it, but Strong's coming out here. She's gonna pester my Indeedee. But I think I'm just gonna wait out this trick room. I think that's the play. Still plus one. It's a crit. What you mean? <laughs> it does get a crit, but I am looking for a uh, team to show off uh, the Comfy because people were saying how strong Comfy is with its uh, healing boost and all that. I think that could be pretty, pretty cool. But these guys are just eating up. I swap. Do I swap out? Let's go on the Corviknight. Get those Psychic Seeds bopping. Then he might burn me. I don't want to swap out Kazam out, you know? Then I can just go for follow me. But can he burn on their second turn? I'm not too sure. But I am going to swap out Alkazam. I'm going to get Corviknight out here. And then I think I'm just going to uh, protect right here. Protect Indeedee. Protect the Indeedee and just waste out these turns. I can definitely do some work on that Comfy with a nice big Bright Burn. Go out from there. Get my Psychic Seeds popping as well. Looks like I'm going into a Flare Blitz as well. Hmm. I'm telling you, I'm just going to wait this one out. I'm just going to play it slow. He is minus one, though. The, the Incineroar, which is nice. Protect comes out. Comfy's going to protect. So we do get a free swap, and we're just wasting these turns. Like, I'm going to play this one slow. Play this one real slow. Snarl comes out. Block. We're going to Mirror Armor him. Which is nice. I mean, he doesn't really have any special attacking moves, so. Unless Snarl is considered special attacking, but still, it does no damage regardless. Mirror armor pops. Um. Hmm. Oh, that thing. What, what typing is that thing? Fairy? He's gotta be fairy, right? Gotta be fairy. I'm just gonna go into an iron head over here, and I think I'm just gonna uh, follow me. Now I'm gonna just follow me out because I don't want him going into a nice big flare blitz and all that good stuff. And just dumping on me. Like, leave me alone, dude. I think he might actually swap into war very, very soon. Try to get another Intimidate and a Fake Out in later in the match. But we'll see. We'll see. We will see. He had a nice lead out to counter up my uh, Alkazam after I got that Nancy pot off. Indeed, he's protected by the Psychic Terrain, which is lovely. Wait, why didn't that hit? I'm a little confused. Giga Drain didn't hit Indeed because of the Psychic Terrain? Or what, what happened? Was it a first turn priority move? I thought he used Giga Drain. A Burning Jealousy, that did like poo poo damage, but he's probably going to get the burn. Does not get the burn. This thing's popping out a Babiri Barry. Ooh! This thing is looking for a burn on me. This thing's looking for a burn. This thing's a beast, too. He's probably gonna heal up after this. Let's see, Dimensions Return to Normal. I might just Dynamax Corvo. Do I Dynamax Corvo? I might actually wanna swap in, to be honest. I'll actually just let Indeedee go down, to be honest. Mm, I think I just helping hand this. I think I help in hand, and then I go after this uh, Comfy, because Comfy's probably gonna heal up here, or either try to set another Trick Room. So if I can helping hand and maybe KO this thing, that Babiri Berry helped it do a lot. I think it halves the damage. 
But we might be able to take it out here. Let's see. Helping hand come out. Clap up. Clap up on, baby. Get him. Take out this comfy here. Comfy's going to protect you. Biscuit, bro. You little biscuit. This thing's going to go for another burning jealousy. Iron Head's going to get blocked. You little biscuit, man. Got to be going for burning jealousy, right? Now we go straight for a flare blitz. Little hunk of junk. And the Indeedy slot. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Of course, you get the burn on him. Of course, you get the burn. You get that recoil damage. This is going to be a long match. We've been playing some long matches recently, especially that Licky Licky and Tangrowth video. We had some long matches going out there, but definitely going to another Iron Head, and I'm going to help him hand it again. It's a no problem. That's a no problem. I'll let uh, Indeedy go down here and then get Lycan Rock out and potentially Dynamax him. He's going to withdraw the Comfy. Okay, good. Withdraw the Comfy. I'm cool with it. And really, really, Boom's going to come out here. It's kind of scary, real Boom. I wish I could change up that terrain, man. I wish we can get that terrain switched out. He finally brings out the Rillaboom. And we'll go Helping Hand into an Iron Head here. He's going to Grassy Glide me a little later, which is tough news. Iron Head. Yeet. But I might just Brave Bird it and try to KO it next turn. Flare Blitz comes out. Built. Bubba Knight eats up. Just dandy. Just fine. It does damage to itself. Um, so what's called is going to go down here. Indeed, he goes down. I think we get Lycan Rock out here. We obviously Dynamax him. Oh, and is not going to go down here. So I can Grassy Glide. I mean, I can follow me this Grassy Glide, which is wonderful. Forgot about the terrain, man. Thank you for keeping me alive. And then we can just drop a big old or I could roost. Or I could roost. I'd rather Brave Bird here and roost next turn, to be honest with you. I mean, who was faster? Was it Corvo? Yeah, Corvo was faster than that. Let me just follow me this. Or do I help him hand it? Because the real boom is not going to take me out. So I think I just help him hand and make sure this real boom goes down. Because the real boom will not take out my Corvo Knight. That's a fact. The only person who's going to take out my Corvo Knight is going to be that instant one. The grass guy's going to come out here. That's an obvious play. So, and I believe Corvo Knight does outspeed this instant or. Yep. And Brave Bird's going to come out here. And this thing's holding. Oh my God, yo. These guys are just buried up, ready for all this. He's ready for all this. He's going to pick up the double kill, though. Oh my god, yo, the berry saves his life, dude. The Cobra Berry coming in clutch. Another Flare Blitz probably gonna come out here. Yeah, Flare Blitz coming out. That's fine. Alright, so I know Lycan Rock is gonna be fastest. Hmm. I know he's gonna Grassy Glide onto Lycan Rock slot. That's 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 pretty much a fact. So I could max guard and then just drop maybe a Dazzling Gleam or an Expanding Force, something along those lines. He's gonna start snarling. Or do I just eat up this shot? I gotta protect and take out that Rillaboom. I gotta protect and take out the Rillaboom. That's a fact. That is a fact. He's gotta be on Grassy Glide into my Licking Rock. So if I can protect him and then just take it, take him out, take out the Rillaboom, I'm, I'm cool with it. So yeah, let's just protect. Because he's not gonna Dynamax here. And I think Expanding Force is probably your best bet. What's his base power? I didn't even check, but still. Expanding Force is a hard-hitting move. This should be able to take out the Rillaboom. But yeah, he's got to go grass, grassy. Uh, oh, sweet. He swaps out. He's going to go comfy, probably. Yep, comfy comes out. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. He's got to go grassy guide, right? I can rock protects. I need to take out this, uh, what's called here? I need to take out this rollboom here. Grassy guy comes out. We block it up. Let's go. Nice little call by me. It's a good first battle. It's a good first battle. Bandit Force comes out. This guy's playing it really well. And we take out rollboom. Show it to me. All right, rollboom's gone. That was a huge threat that we take out the way. Now I have two very fast Pokemon on the field. I have two very, very fast Pokemon on the field. I'm definitely going to Dynamax Lycan Rock, drop a rock, change the weather up, and roll from there. And roll from there. Go ahead. He, he might pop out. Yeah, he's going to pop out instead of again. That's fine. That's totally fine. Okay, okay. You're going to intimidate me. What's this ability on Lycan Rock? Is it Tough Claws? Is this Tough Claws or whatever it's called? Let me see. Let me see this thing's ability. Oh no, it's Sandrush. What, what am I doing? I knew it had Sandrush this whole time. Alright, we still got a Dynamax him. I think he's still a Dynamax Pokemon of choice. And we're gonna drop this rock on you. And then I think we might just protect here. I think I might just protect uh, Alkazam. We might set a trick room here. I'm definitely protecting Alkazam. I don't want him getting uh, faked out and just um, losing turn or losing health. So I might as well just protect it and play this one fine. I'm going to be able to drop this stab rock and start taking speed advantage, but he might set up a trick room, which is kind of scary. And he still has his Dynamax. You got to worry about that. But yo, good old first battle. We've been having some longer, better better battles for you guys. Hope you guys do enjoy the content. Protect comes out. 
Double spoon. Yay. <laughs> we double spoon it up. Fake out comes out. Okay, he's going after my Lycanroc anyway. So I probably could have uh, punked out a turn here. Lycanroc's going to drop that big old max rock ball. I don't know if we're going to pick up the KO. Stab with life orb, potentially. Yeah. Yeah, get it out of here. Get it going, man. All I know is we were minus one, so that was kind of tough. We set the sandstorm, which is beautiful. And I, I seriously do think he's going to go trick him. He's 100% going to go trick him, I think. Show me you're going for like a heal move. Show me you're going for a heal move. Floral thing. Nah, he rolls trick room. So he does roll out with the trick room. And he's going to bring out his final Pokemon, which he's going to Dynamax. And I'm thinking it might be Lapras. I think he might just Dynamax Lapras. And just have Comfy just keep healing it up. And this thing's going to be a pain. Let's see, if it's Lapras, that's going to be tough. That's going to be real tough. Leave me alone! Just leave me alone! Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? He's Dynamaxing it. He is Dynamaxing whoever it is. It is Lapras. I told you guys. So he's going to Dynamax it. And he's probably going to just take this one. Oh, no, please. No, please. Leave me alone. Did I take out the Comfy first? Like, mm. He's going to change up the weather. And he's going to go first. So I'm going to go there. I don't even know what to do. I guess expanding force into it. <laughs> we got to double up into Lapras. I think Lapras is just going to run us, man. That's tough news. Oh, yo, GG to this guy. I'm glad we actually got to show off a little bit of this team so far. We got to show off that Alkazam. Well, you guys already know about Alkazam. And Lycanroc did pretty well. He just got comfy stuff to play against. Especially with the Lapras, too. Like, Lapras is such a staple in the meta right now. Well, it's been ever since it came out. It's just so strong. Especially now that you had comfy. I think comfy can just, like, keep it alive considering Lapras is so bulky. And then comfy just keeps doing everything. He giga drains on me. He's doubling up into me. That's a fact. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Leave me alone. Comfy's going to get some HP back. Guys are going to come out. I think we might be able to eat up a geyser. Not even going to lie. Oh, he's going after Alkazan. Yeah, we do eat, eat that up. So that's not bad. I think we're going to trigger this thing's uh, focus sash, man. Oh, not focus sash. A uh, weakness policy. Let's go with a rock ball, baby. Yeet. Send it. Get him. Take him out. Get a crit. Some big old damage there. If I had follow me, man, we would be chilling. We had super effective shot. And we changed the weather back up for us. Okay. I think Alkazam, he's at 17 HP. And this thing is WP. He is WP. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, please. Leave me alone. Just please. Leave me alone. Bandit Force, yeet. Not bad damage. Dude, if we could get off another shot on this. I don't think we can. He's got he's to gotta heal up that uh, Lapras. He's got to heal it up. And he's got to drop a, a geyser into my, uh, my Legend Rock. So do I guard? Trick Room is such a pain, man. <laughs> it's such a pain. Leave me alone. <laughs> do I guard here? Grass is going to disappear. But if we guard, then we're going to go down our, and waste our last Dynamax turn. So I think we have to go after this. Hmm. I think I just got to double up into it again. I think I just got to double up into it. Let's see. Floral healing comes out. That was a, I knew that coming. Watch how much HP this thing gets. Look at this. It's like... 150 for him. That's like 150. Go after my Alexan, please. Let me go after like eat it, buddy. Nope. Yo, that plus two helped it out so much. I knew it. I knew he's WP. Man, yo, Trick Room Comfy coming in clutch here. Oh, that's gonna be GG. That is gonna be GG. Bro, that healing is ridiculous. But yeah, definitely we played a great battle there. I didn't think we played terrible. I thought there could have been things we could have done better, but Comfy was just a, a tough comp up for us. He's just so strong. And he's really bulky. And he, and he led very, very well. He led very well with that Incineroar and that uh, Comfy. We waited out the Trick Room, but he played it out just as well. Waited for us. Got up another Trick Room. Swapped out the Comfy. And did all that stuff. And ended up picking up that W. But, yo, 0-1 right now. So, we're going to hop into battle number two and try to get our first win for this video. Second battle coming out here. We had a strong first battle. That was a nice long one for you guys, but we're going to try to pick up a win right here. This guy is Talonflame, probably Gale Wings Talonflame, with Crocodile and a Trick Room Squad. Also has Inteleon and Dracofish, so Rain Team, well not Rain, well Rain will not be our friend here. Will not be our friend, so maybe we got to try to get out that Sandstorm and try to get rid of that Inteleon turn one. But let's see, let's just, let's just slow it down here. I kind of want to go Sandstream right off the bat. kind of just want to go Sandstream and just get rolling with that. Let's go. Let's go Lycanroc Titar. Get that off early on. And then I could go Psychic Surge and pull out a Follow Me in Didi. I mean, if he goes Trick Room, I mean, Hatterene wouldn't be bad. Especially up against that Duraldon. But I feel like Steel Spike is uh, looking a little dangerous for us. Hmm. I mean, if he wants to roll Trick Room, I'll bring Hatterene in the back. And then do I go in Didi or Alkazam as just a nice little back end speedy? I think I go uh, in Didi. 
Let's go Indeedee, because I definitely think he's going to set Trick Room. I don't think he's going to go Tailwind side. If not, we do have that Hatterene to set that Trick Room later on in the match. We will see, we will see. But he could go Tailwind. I will just Dynamax and take out of your, uh, your Talon Flame turn one. Oh, it's up to you, man. It's up to you. And if you go, uh, if he goes, what's it called? If he goes Big Dog, uh, the Raladon, I'm just going to Max Knuckle it, boost my T-Tars attack, and just roll out with a high horsepower. Just see you later. Just get, get out of my face. Unless it's Dynamaxing. Then, then we might be in some trouble, but we'll play it as it goes. We'll see. We'll see. Come on. Gene needs to win. He goes Crocodile and Inteleon. This might be an Anger Point. It's got to be an Anger Point Crocodile, right? It's got to be Anger Point, dude. I got to get it gone. I got to get out of here, kid. We'll set the Sandstream. I kind of want that Inteleon gone, though, too, because Inteleon is just going to dump on my team. So I feel like we just Dynamax to take out that uh, that boy right there, even though Max Knuckles looking mighty fine over on that Crocodile. <laughs> I still say we go uh, Rock Ball. Is it is stab, and we can try to do some work on this Inteleon. Let's go get after this Inteleon and then just roll out into a. Uh, do I slide it? Potential flinches? Or do I go for a lash out? Lash out. The user lashes out to vent its frustration towards the target. If the stats were lowered during the turn, the power of this move is doubled. So 75 base power and stab. I'm going to take it up. I'm going to take it up on it. And hopefully, you lower my stats. I'll double up and piece you up. But here we go. We're Dynamax and we're obviously speedy. We're obviously go first. I don't know if this is going to be Anger Point Crookie. If this is Anger Point Crookie, we could be in some trouble, dude. Everyone knows that plus six Crookadile slaps up. It slaps up. But we got big old Poochie Pooch right here. This is like the better version of Poochiana and Mighty Anna. Is Lycanroc, dude. Lycanroc is sick, dude. He's such a cool Pokemon. And he's going to Dynamax. Show me. I don't even know who I, who I want to see. I don't know who I want to see. But he's going to go Crookadile. This has got to be Anger Point. This got to be Anger Point. He's got to be going for a ground move. Against my Lycanroc. Hopefully he's going after my T-Tar or something like that. This has got to be Anger Point, right? Hopefully we can take out this uh, Inteleon. Tell it to go home. Get out of here, kid. Get out of here, kid. Get him out of here, kid. We'll change the Lash Out. Lash Out will go over to the right side. And Crocodiles? Eh, he's probably going for a Quake, right? Oh, he's knuckling. He's knuckle buckling. I don't think this thing's part fighting. But still, we do eat. I'm going to get my boosted attack next turn. Or do I just drop another rock on whoever I want? Let's see how much this Lash Out does. He's boosting his attack. And oh, and he is Life Orb. Crocodile's trying to get turn one. He Lash Out comes out. Doing a little bit of damage. Not very effective. Is he, is he dark and fighting? Or is he dark ground just as well as... Uh, might be fighting. I don't even know his typing anymore. <laughs> but who's the next one? No one's outspeeding this thing. Let's say I have a first turn priority move. I'm trying to think. What other Pokemon he had? Who else did he have? It have a Ranguru, which who does that follow me? Just the Roudon. Which I can totally see the Roudon protecting. Hmm. They do have Indeedee in the back. I could guard up. Hmm. I'm definitely gonna knuckle. I'm gonna boost attack. Do some damage over on the Crocodile. Then I'm gonna just high horsepower over onto this Duraldon side. I don't wanna double up in the Duraldon just in case he might protect. But I'm thinking he might actually uh, max guard that Crooks. The Crocodile. And then try to take out my Licking Rock with a uh, Flash Cannon. Something along those lines, which would be super effective. In that case, I should just dump on the Duraldon. But he could go either way with the Protects. What you want for? That's what he's thinking about. That is what he's thinking about. Who's he protecting? No one. He ain't protecting no one. Knuckle comes out. Does good old damage to it. That's plentiful damage. I think Lycanroc will see its death here from a flash cannon. And then another Max Knuckle might pop out here onto my T-Tar. And if my T-Tar survives, which I don't know if he will. It's four times super effective. Hit my Lycanroc, please. Hit my Lycanroc, please. Thank you. Okay, so T-Tar's fine. T-Tar is chilling. I think I get out. What's it called? I'm just following me this one. And get out Indeedee and just follow me this one. He's just boosting attack. We're plus one here. I think he's going to go for a Flash Cannon. And, uh, and what's it called? Trigger my weakness policy. So the round is probably dead. This thing's Moxie boosted too. Jeez. Louise. Get it gone, kid. Get it out of my face. Flash Cannon, right? Oh, T-Bolt. T-Bolt? Okay. Hopefully this uh, high horsepower can do some big old damage to this thing. Get him. It's not stab, but still. Should be able to do some nice damage. Oh. We don't take that thing out and we trigger this thing's policy. Get out of here. Just go, just go. Just leave. Just leave. 
Yes, stalwart. Hmm. 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 How fast is this crocodile? I feel like we could just psychic surge. Instead of going for the follow me, I feel like we could just psychic surge here. Like Indeedy is definitely faster than that throughout, on, right? You know, it's not very effective. Uh, it's not gonna do anything. Okay, so definitely follow me then. Rock slide? Hmm. I gotta take out somebody. I think the route I might protect. I'm gonna go after this Crookedile, even though Crookedile I think is gonna take me out. Now Crookedile is gonna have to get that follow me. The route gonna have stalwart on. We might just flash cannon across. I don't know why he was going for a T-Bolt. I think he didn't want to trigger my weakness policy. I think that was the play, maybe looking for a paralyze. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But if I can get rid of that Duraladon, if I can get rid of that Duraladon, I can potentially set up Trick Room and finish off this battle. This is a good one. This is a good one so far. Legend Rock was showing off. I'm surprised he didn't dump on my T-Tar early on. I think that was a big mistake by him. Need he goes for that follow me. Show me someone protecting. Show me that Duraladon protecting. That could be huge. Let's see. Let's see. Nope. He just goes for straight max knuckle. Kind of boosts his attack again. Need he... Bruh. Dumped on. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Didi gets dumped on. No problem. <laughs> you gotta go for high horsepower here. We need to be able to take this thing out. This thing is plus four. Well, now plus five. Like, he's gotta go here. He's gotta go. High horsepower should be able to take it out. He's gotta go for a duel with Draco Meteor. He's dropping a big old Meteor. Eat it up. Eat it up, Tar. Eat it up, bud. Eat it up, bud. Eat it up, bud. Love to see it. I think special attack is now poo poo when he can. I always power should be able to KO. Yeah, get it gone. Alright, so this thing's gone. Hmm. The real question is, what am I gonna do with Hatterene? Hatterene. Get out here, girl. She could I I'm thinking we eat up a a flash cannon. You gonna go town flame. Hmm. Hmm. T flame coming out here. We are in the surge. We are in the surge. And I feel like an expanding force can take out that the route on. But I say we just go for this. I say we just get after it. I say we just rock slide. Come on, baby. Let's see what happens here. Steel wing comes out. T-Tar eat. Okay, T-Tar doesn't eat. I feel like we can end this game with the, with this Babiri Bear. Steel beam. Oh, this is a heavy hit move. The heavy hit move. Eat up, hats. Eat up, hats. I need how to eat this up. Babiri Bear, come in clutch. I love it. I love it. I love it. Show me the game. Show me the game. Show me this thing's not sash. Show me this thing's not sash. In the surge. And it's stabbed. Show me this thing's not sash. Clutch Hatterene. Clutch Hatterene. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it, baby. Hatterene's Babiri Berry coming up clutch, eating up that steel beam, and giving us our first win for this video. The Babiri Berry is way too strong. It is way too good. Wins us that match right there. We're hopping into our third and final battle here. This guy has a sick looking team. Look at that team. Kingdra, Puriganzi, Cinderace, Venusaur, Talonflame, Duraldon. All amazing Pokemon right there. I really do like the way that team looks. It looks awesome. But how should I roll out with this one? I think we got to play Trick Room here. I think Trick Room's definitely going to come out here. Let's go Indeedoobly. Indeedoobly. And Hatterini. Hatterini will come in here. Set that Trick Room turn one. Um. Bum, 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 bum. And then maybe go T-Tar and Dynamax to Tar. The Tar under the Trick Room would be nice. So let's go Tar and bring Rock all the way in the back end. Let's have Rock come all the way out in the back end. Or we might not even uh, Dynamax to T-Tar, depending on how the Hatterene's looking. Depending on how the Hatterene's looking. But the thing is, this thing could have Taunt, but I think Follow Me comes out before Taunt. So. Um, I'm speaking about the Town Flame. Town Flames usually do Rock Taunt. Usually Taunt, Tailwind, Flare Blitz, and Brave Bird. Most of them do it. But that last one in the last battle, how'd steel win? It's pretty nutty. So, yo, that Babiri Berry, come on. I didn't I didn't think we were surviving the steel beam. I was like, dude, steel beam? That, that hits like a truck. That hits like a truck. But we're going to get off these two right here. We're going to get off these two. Porygon's so good. Oh, my God. Dude. Porygon's annoying, man. He's going to download and boost his attack. Is this thing not special attacking? Or did he just play his stats wrong? Because I know there's a certain way to make uh, the special attack moves. I think your stats have to be different. But we're definitely gonna follow me here. Set up this trick room and roll out from there. Then I can double up in the expanding forces if I really want to. Just see what you want, fool. I mean, you can take out. You can take out my DD, no problem. I'm cool with it. Go for a sucker punch. Go for go for a sucker punch. I'm not attacking. 
sucker, he sucker punch you. Dynamax of Porygon, I'm guessing. Or is it Cinder? They're both viable Dynamaxes. But come on, we need this third battle win for the Jeans of Online Game and Community, baby. We Dynamax the Cinderace. We got this one. We got it. Okay, you hunko junko. You hunko junko. Leave me alone. Don't you dare change the tone. I'm gonna be mad at you if you do. Follow me over here with my croissant ears. They look like croissants. Her ears. Here goes G-Max Fireball. What does this move even do? I know it hits hard, but does it do anything? Does it change weather or anything like that? Let's see what it says. I don't think it has any effect to it. Try attack comes out. Oh, oh, oh! Leave me alone! That's gonna take me out. Adaptability is gonna do big old damage to me. That's fine. That's fine. We did our job. Now the real question is, do I Dynamax the tar? I think I get the tar out here. I Dynamax. I can Rock Ball and take out uh, Big Dog over there. Let's do it. And then we'll have like I'm rocking the back end. Oh, I'm like where we're sitting. And I can just expanding force with the uh, with my buddy over here. Katarin. Katarini. There you go, Sandstream. Teeth are coming out here. What you want, yo? But this is awesome. How we got another Sandrush Pokemon in the new Isle of Armor. With uh, what's it called? Oh, do I boost my special defense here? I mean, if he goes with a flying move, then. I don't think he's gonna go for a flying move, though. I say he boosts our special defense. That'll help us out in the long run. Let me just go for an expanding force. But yeah, it's cool that we got another Sandrush Pokemon, especially in the Isle of Armor with Lycanroc. So, so cool. So we're not seeing this over and over again. Extra T-Tar, Extra T-Tar, Extra T-Tar. Now we got a new person who's viable in uh, Sandrush teams. Well, not Sandrush teams, Sandstorm teams. But now we're going to Dynamax this thing. Um, I want to get the special defense boost. I know it's not sad, but I think an expanding force will KO this in race if T-Tar doesn't take it out by itself. And the special defense would be better than just uh, no boost at all. Band Force comes out. Hey, hey, look how much damage that does. Oh, ah, nasty damage. Quake coming out here. Quake should be able to pick up the KO. Say night night to you. We get that big old special defense boost, which is gonna help us out up against this Porygon here. This Porygon definitely got to go for a try attack here and throw it on my head ring side. I'm guessing because it does poo poo damage over on my tar. This tar is big old bulky boy. Big old bulky rock dude. But yeah, get that big old Cinderace out the way early on. That is huge play for us. Get that thing going, and he's going to go Porygon into a Shadow Ball. Oh, you Shadow Ball. Eat this up. Eat this up, Hatterene. I, I believe in you. Oh, my God. I love you, Hatterene. I love you. No adaptability there. I get off another Expanding Force. You guys know that hits like a truck. Porygon, go down? No, Expanding Force will just take it out, though. But I know Hatterene is uh, slowest on the field. Bam. And then once Trick Remains, Sandstorm will still probably be a thing. We get like and rock up in here for one turn. Has that speed advantage. And then take out whatever we need to if we even uh, have to bring it that far. But coming out here is Kingdra. Okay, yo, what you want, Kingdra? You know you're dead. You know you're dead. I'm going to just drop a rock. I'm going to make sure this thing goes out. Well, this thing is definitely going to go out here. Just expanding force. We might take it out with an expanding force. This dude's sitting in a bad spot. A real bad spot. I think we have this one just wrapped up with these two Pokemon. I think we're just going to take control from here. I knew Trick Room was the call. I saw it. I was just like, yo, Trick Room's got to come out here. It's got to be it. Spinning Force comes out. We'll say bye to Porygon. Maybe, I think bye to Kingdra, too. Let's see. Nope. Pretty close, though. Pretty close. Porygon, I'm sorry, yo. I love you, but you're not on my team. Rock Falls coming out here. Bye-bye, Kingdra. And now it comes down to a uh, 3v1, and we have a one last Dynamax turns and Expanding Force in the search. Easy win. Easy win. We're going to wrap this one up. We're going to go 2-1. This, this is just easy. He doesn't have Dynamax. I think he played his Dynamax wrong. I didn't think he should have uh, Dynamax that Cinderace right off the rip. Especially uh, Stick Fire typing. Knowing that we have Trick Room and all these Rock Bonds. It goes Veeny Venusaur. And that's going to be a big old KO with this Rock move. And Expanding Force is super effective. So, bruh. Bruh, Expanding Force is going to take out one turn. You better run. You better keep that Venusaur alive. Thank you very much. GG to this guy. Two and one. Yo, let's go. This team rocks. I'm a big fan of this team. Get it? It rocks because it's a, it's a Rock Sand team. You guys got it but yeah definitely had tons of fun playing this one like and rock sand rush team definitely pretty strong i had a good time playing it we went two and one so not bad we also had the hatterene the indeedee and alkazam all with expanding force which helped us out just well but i think i do like extra drill over like and rock any day of the week considering we had that dual typing with the steel and uh extra is just i think is a way better mod but like and rock still rocked out for us and did some work but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you all in the next one Peace out, everyone.